Hello, my name is Kerry Arthur, and today we're going to talk about them, their Blackstone Fortress models, especially the Chaos stuff, because as if I wasn't already excited enough about Blackstone Fortress, as you already know, because I've just been saying I want it over and over again, I'm really, really liking specifically the Chaos stuff that we've seen. I mean, the other models look great. Um, I like the stuff that is on the side of the Rogue Trader. There's some really nice stuff in there. But for me, personally, being a, being somewhat a bit of a heretic myself, the Chaos side of things, it, it, just, it just looks like we could be in for something really kind of special further on down the line. Now, of course, this is going on the assumption that at some point the stuff in this box will be available for purchase, purchase separately. I don't think that's an unreasonable assumption. I think it's probably fairly fair to say that, especially the Chaos Space Marines, I mean, that range has needed an update for quite some time. The Chaos Space Marines have looked a little bit dated for a while now, um, and the stuff in Blackstone Fortress is a lot closer to the Dark Vengeance style of Chaos Space Marines that I really expected to become full kits eventually. Uh, it still baffles me that that was never done. It's still one of those things where every now and again I'm like, why why did they never do anything with those? Like, they, they look... As it stands, I think it's fair to say that Chaos Space Marines, for the most part, look like normal Space Marines with some spiky bits stuck on. They have aged about as well as the Tactical Marine kit in that they are... You know, they're classic, but they're not sleek. The poses aren't great. They look a little bit... They look a bit static. They look kind of... They just look a bit dated at this point. And the Dark Vengeance stuff did not look dated. It looked really, really good. And so I kind of thought to myself, well, obviously we're going to see these as a replacement kit at some point. I mean, of course we are. Look at them. They look great. They look more like what I would expect Chaos Space Marines to look like. Less kind of stuck on tat and more just an an actual kind of reimagining of the armor, a, a, a more a more convincing take on Chaos Space Marines. Now though, in Blackstone Fortress, we have a really nice kind of bridge between the two. So the Chaos Space Marines in Black Fortress don't Black Fortress, I keep saying that, it's Blackstone Fortress. I don't know why I keep missing stone out. Um they look like a really like a really happy medium between the the old Chaos Space Marines, where of course you have got plenty of variety in terms of po well, I say variety in terms of pose. The poses don't look great, but you can pose them pretty much how you like. Um, and the kind of the monopose approach of the Dark Vengeance stuff. Now, if you look at the sprues for these things, which um, very handily are available on the on the Warhammer community site, you can you can get a feel for the way that they go together. And they are they are monopose, but to be honest, they look they look a lot more um, tweakable, shall we say, than the Dark Vengeance ones. Um, the the bodies, the backpacks, the the arms there they sort of they look a bit more reasonable in terms of things you'd be able to do with them to really kind of spice them up and make them your own. Dark Vengeance ones are a bit too monopose. Um, I know that for a lot of people, monopose is too monopose, no matter how kind of adaptable they are. But these ones look look like a, a, a kind of mix between the two. It's genuinely got me excited because we keep hearing all this stuff about Chaos showing up and Chaos getting new models and we've got a really good basis there for a really good Chaos Space Marine squad. And given for my Empress children I was planning on just converting Primaris Marines. To be honest, if these things did come out as just a full box, I wouldn't bother. Like I did pledge that my entire army would be kit bashed. I like those enough that I would be perfectly happy to do a head swap and a weapon swap. Maybe maybe switch out the backpacks for something a bit more a bit more speaker esque, given that they are Empress children. I'd like to have some kind of of something like that. I think uh, I think Spellcrow do some kind of organ style backpacks, which I would probably end up using instead of the standard ones. But they look they look such a good kind of midpoint between the old style and the new style and the scale is a little bit different as well there's been a few images floating around of the scale of these things and they're a little bit they're a little bit taller a little bit kind of stand up a little bit straighter i'm really liking especially the cow space marines and the lord looks really good as well we've needed a new lord kit for a while i think especially like the, the terminator lord for cow space marines it looks okay i think it's aged all right but it looks kind of 
it looks a bit plain compared to a lot of other HQs we've got, and that is because it is ostensibly just a Chaos Terminator. I mean, I know it's got a cape, but the Chaos Terminator kit, they create very distinct looking models, and the Lord just kind of looks like another Terminator next to those Terminators. Admittedly, that is a problem that I think the Death Guard have currently got, um, whereby the weapon is the biggest kind of um, kind of note as to what the leader is, but I, I don't know, there's something about the old Chaos Lord kit in Terminator armor that is just not, not again, not quite there anymore. And then we've got things like the, I keep saying it's Neo Vault, but it's not, I think it's Nega Vault cultists. Those, for a start, if you've got a Dark, if you've got a Mechanicus army and you're playing it as Dark Mechanicus, well, it's like, how are you supposed to not use those? Those look like, to be honest, those look like what I was expecting the Electro Priests to look like. They they have a much grittier, kind of darker feel to them. And I can easily see those showing up in a lot of Chaos Armies. Whether it's whether it's Dark Imperium or whether Dark Imperium, Dark Mechanicus, or whether they're being used as like like cultist leaders or or yeah, there's quite I mean, to be honest, there's quite a lot you could do with them. Let's be fair. They would make quite fun possessed if you had that kind of theme going on in your army. They'd be quite fun for that. Um, there's all sort of ways you can you can there's all sort of ways you can tweak stuff like that. Whereby perhaps you're possessed aren't actually possessed. Maybe they've got the stats of possessed, but you've got a bunch of of uh, of Negavolt cultists being led by a space marine with some sort of horrendous modification made to him. So his arms are flails, and there's all kinds of things you could do with them. And they they do look very. They look mechanicus, but they look like a sort of more nasty, um, just more chaosy mechanicus, which obviously makes sense. But the sculpts on them are really, really good. I think just as a model, they look really good. I'm going to be honest. I'm a little bit disappointed with the traitor guard in a way, but only because there's a lot of repeats. There's like 14 traitor guard in the box, and you get doubles of of, of each one by the look of it. That's a little bit disappointing, just because them being them being what they are, it's very noticeable that they are repeat models. The actual sculpts themselves, I really like. They have, in a way, fallen into the trap of it's chaos, therefore it's spiky, which I'm not. I, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of that anymore. I used to be. Um, every vehicle I had for chaos was spiked to high heaven. I'm not entirely sure that's how I would go with it now, and in fact. I haven't really gone with it now. My uh, my Typhon Heavy Siege tank is is completely spike less. In fact, just because I don't know. I think I've I think I've almost grown out of the whole sticking spikes and everything. I know it's it's very non heretic of me, but still, um, they do look decent. They are a little bit over the top, a little bit impractical. Which, to be honest, I mean when you're when you're pledging yourself to the Dark Gods, I suppose you're not really going for the practical look when it comes to sticking knives all over your armour. Um, they do look decent, though. I do quite like them. They, again, have a nice amount of potential should they ever be released as an actual kit. This is something that, to be honest, I, I would really hope to see... Maybe not even a codex. This is the thing. A lot of the time when I'm looking at this stuff, I do say things like, oh, it'd be nice if we saw a codex of this. To be honest... For 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 traitor guard, I don't necessarily know whether you would particularly need a separate codex. You could probably get away with the same codex as guard, but it would just change the keywords. So you would have, you know, chaos as opposed to as opposed to Imperium, you would have traitor guard as opposed to Astra Militarum or or whatever. Um I would like to see those be released properly as as like a full kit of their own. How likely that is, I don't know actually. I, I kind of I can see the Space Marine ones being released as a full kit of their own quite easily. Um the the Traitor Guard, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I would really like to see it. I'm just not not sure whether we will. Although we also have like a couple of psychers as well in this box. And Beastmen too, which is awesome because we need more of that in 40k. That's a side of 40k that has just fallen by the wayside. It's not really been utilised. It's not been used that much. It's kind of disappeared over the years, and it makes me sad. And actually, seeing seeing some some new like some new beastmen sculpts in the 40k setting with chainsaws and everything, 
change swords. Um, I kind of want more. I like it. It's, it's one of those things where it's easy to look at everything in the box and go, "Yeah, give me a codex of that." I'm I'm really feeling like a traitor guard. I'm getting like a proper traitor guard codex sensation from looking at this stuff, but I don't know how likely that is. What I will say though is that over the like overall, whilst the character models and stuff look good, like the playable characters and all that stuff, whilst they look good, and there is obviously a like a really high like a really high level of design that's gone into this. It it's it's a fun group with some really kind of outstanding sculpts in there. To be honest, the crew looks decent, the ratlings look decent. I mean Janus Drake looks just immense. Um the, the mad bishop with the power mall, whose name I cannot remember. They all look good, but the the standout ones for me, I mean I thought the standout would be Janus Drake from the Rogue Trader side of this box, but to be honest, it's not. There is the mental like uh, astropath guy with the crazy helmet that kind of spreads across his head and it that is such an amazing model. That is such a great model. Again, it's it's so kind of it's so unfamiliar to 40k. It's it's the right style, but it feels fresh. It feels new. And <laughs> the one with the chainsaw, like the chainsaw flamer, I would happily I would happily have like eight of those. Not even to use, just to have. Because it's such a ridiculous kind of... It's so over the top. It's so, so over the top. Like a full-on flamer with a chainsaw strapped to the underneath. I would, even, I would argue that's not even a chain sword. It just looks like an actual chainsaw, but with spice instead of chain. It's, it's a, a really good model. I really think, to be honest, there is not a single thing in this box that I don't like the look of. Normally, normally when there's a standalone game or when there's new models coming out, there is something where I'll sit there and go, eh, I can take it or leave it. I'm not too fussed about that. The only one that comes close to that for me is is like is probably the Crute Mercenary. But even then, it's a new Crute Mercenary. Like I might not be personally that interested in it, but the fact that it exists and the fact that it's been made makes me incredibly happy because it looks really good. And it's like a again, like a fresh take on something that feels like it's been neglected for quite some time. There's a huge amount of potential in this box. For making like not just for the not just for the game itself, but model wise, I'm looking at all of the stuff that's in here, and you could do so much with so many of these characters, and you could convert them for so many different armies and purposes, and like thematically, the chaos side just has something about it which is really really well done. I could see that force just being on the tabletop and no one no one bat an eyelid. It would just be. Oh, nice chaos army. I mean, half the stuff in there doesn't even have rules for 40k, but still, it has such a good kind of undercurrent of design through it that it it all works so well together. Whether or not the game is actually good, I almost don't really care at this point because I can see myself trawling eBay for various bits of sprues just to create things out of the things that you get in it. There's no model in there that I'm looking at and thinking, oh, I don't want to paint that. I want to paint all of it. It's, I think it's honestly, genuinely one of the one of the nicest kind of collections of miniatures that I've seen come out of Games Workshop for quite a while. And we've had some pretty decent stuff recently. Like the, I mean, when you look at the stuff like we've had for for orcs, like the vehicles I've had, I've really liked all those vehicles. I've liked the kind of the extension to the Custodes range. I like the new knights that we've had. The Custodes range, especially, I was really impressed by. I really liked what they did with that. I like this more by a huge factor, and it's not just because I've gone full heresy. There is just something about the way that these units have been designed, the way they look together, that just completely works on every level for me. Um, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm impressed. I'm genuinely impressed. I know I've, I've like gushed about how much I want Blackstone Fortress when we've seen the different model previews come up. Now that we've got like. Not just images of what you get in the box, but also we've got sprues as well. The potential for creating cool shit out of this box is just—it's just way up there, and uh, 
and I can easily see myself like trawling around just trying to make nice things out of this, which is a really nice feeling to have. To actually look at something and go, I love the way these look now. I also reckon I could do something great in terms of kit bashing. That's that's nice. It feels like it it feels like that doesn't happen a huge amount anymore. Like this feels like it could be kind of effortless coming up with mad stuff to build out of this. And fairly recently there's been a you know a fairly significant number of models that have been, you know, monopose or have been a bit trickier to convert or kit bash. I'm just not getting that from this box. I'm not getting it at all. I want the models to both build as the models they are and to do anything and everything I can with them at the same time. Just a really, really nice, refreshing feeling. So yeah, the Blackstone Fortress stuff just looks it just looks fantastic. I like every single part of it. Um and I'm now gonna stop gushing. <laughs> I suppose a bit of positivity after uh after some of the negative stuff on, on Monday is nice, but yeah. I can't wait to get my hands on this now. Genuinely can't. It's gonna be really, really fun. Anyway, what do you think of especially the chaos side of the Blackstone Fortress box? Do you like the sculpts? Do you like the look of the stuff? Do you hope that we do see some sort of amazing appearance from the traitor guard in the uh, the wider game as a whole let me know what you think in the comments down below in the meantime feel free to click all the shit patreon subscribe videos all that click it if you like don't click it if you don't want to and i will see you for the next one toodaloo